Hello and welcome. This is part of a series. I hope you've watched uh, the previous videos going through some of the capture the flags from Google 2018. Again, uh, they didn't ask me to do this. In fact, uh, I've never even talked to Live Overflow, uh, but I came across uh, this, you know, these capture the flags by watching Live Overflow. I subscribed to him for a few months now. His videos are great. Through him, I found uh, John Hammond and I've been watching his videos on this topic as well and uh, he actually inspired me to start working on some of these and uh, try to write scripts that automate all of them but then also you know walking through this one I actually uh, the script I it actually gives you a little comments that goes through on what's happening this one's actually pretty simple uh, so let's read you know the little um, description here because uh, there's usually clues in there and there definitely is with this one uh, so th there's going to be an attachment that we've got to download here. So an attachment's uh, a binary file. So it says, it's a media PC, PC, all fully purchased through the online subscription revolution empire. Give me that money. The PC has a remote control service running that looks like it was caused that that will cause all kinds of problems, or that it was written by someone who watched too many '90s movies. You download the binary from the vendor and begin reversing it nothing is the right way around okay so the, you begin reversing it obviously we're talking about reverse engineering it but there's more to it uh, and as you can see there's nothing the right way around that's that's our clue here that's the last little piece of information you need to solve this so let me go ahead and uh, again uh, if you go to gitlab.com forward slash melix1000 forward slash capital ctf uh, you can download all my scripts for uh, these uh, these capture the flags and uh, they should automate and walk you through uh, the project. So here I am. I've downloaded that. I'm in the folder for Gatekeeper. Uh, if you, if I look, there's one file in here. If I run it, it's going to tell me if we use the hex a hex editor or strings. We'll see this, and I'll go into that in more detail. Press enter to continue. At first, I thought it was a worm uh, one worm that appeared to be the password, but it's not. Then I saw the username is this here. And, and I tried that. It didn't work. But then I looked at the clue. Nothing is the right way around. Gives it away. If you reverse this, you get, I got mad skills. And that is our flag. And here I pull it out using strings. So let's actually walk through this. And my script clears out. So when you're done, the folders clear again. Uh, so real quick, I'll go into the gatekeeper script here. First thing we do is we download our script, unzip it, and then I remove the original zip file just to keep things clean. So let me go ahead and do that manually now so we can go through this step by step. So I'll download that zip file, I'll unzip it, then I'll remove the original zip file, and that extracted a file so this is my script here, but then there's a file here called uh, gatekeeper, skip, uh, gatekeeper. And if we run file on it, which will tell us what type of file it is, we can see here that it is a dynamically linked executable for a 64-bit system, uh, a Linux system, and uh, so we know it's executable. Could technically, uh, probably run this on my machine, but I try not to get into the habit of running random applications I download from the internet on uh, from strange sites. I mean, it's put out by Google, so I'm sure it's okay, but I'm still not going to do that. And I don't need to. Uh, let me go ahead. You know, I, I've showed you strings. If we run strings against that file and hit enter, it's going to give us all the, um, you know, ASCII characters. So I'm assuming that if we were to actually run this program, we'd probably see this header, and that's telling you for username and password. Uh, what you probably don't see, and you can see here, is verifying uh, that worm1 and then it said incorrect username and then it gives this uh, and we say correct so we can kind of determine then we can see our uh, CFT which would actually be something I would search for in here but it's it's saying CFT but then it's looking for you know a string here a variable uh, and just through process elimination again just looking at this it's pretty straightforward I thought it was this and I thought it was that and then I realized after the clue that this is it backwards. Uh, so if we look at, again, my script, gatekeeper.sh, uh, the command I run is strings on that, and then I grep for username. I look for uh, the line after that, 
then I tail to just grab that line and then I reverse it and if we do that on the file boom we get our phrase there and I actually end up throwing that into a variable called flag so let me go ahead and do that and now I can echo out CTF curly braces and that flag variable we just created and we have the flag that we can paste into the website. That one was pretty straight and simple for uh, straightforward. If you play around binary files, which I do, I, I, I over the many years I have done a lot of stuff, and you can do so much with binaries, find out so much about them just by using strings or a hex editor like hex edit. If I could type today, hex edit. I'll run that on this uh, file here. Same thing, I can hit tab over here, I can hit forward slash CTF, uh, and so that would bring me down here, that would be the first thing I look for, and here we can see that same section that we saw with strings. Uh, and again, just looking at this, you can kind of tell that, okay, that's these are all plain text stuff that obviously is leet speak uh, for one worm, and uh, then you can also tell that this kind of doesn't you know, fall in place there. And uh, again, we just reverse that with the re rev command, and we have our key, our flag. Uh, so that's it. Um, and I can clean up just by saying remove that. And again, my script does everything automated. It downloads it. Uh, it spits out the strings here. We can hit enter. It kind of walks you through. I didn't do this with all the scripts where it actually I put uh, text here explaining the process. I just thought I'd do that for this one, uh, just because it was kind of simple but I thought I'd explain it and there we go we got our flag just by running that script and hitting enter a few times to continue. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy all the my videos. Uh, I hope you all enjoy all the ones in this series. Again, uh, I hope that you visit my website filmsbychris.com. You can go there filmsbychris.com. It's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description there. You can search through my videos from uh, all my websites or uh, for all my channels. Uh, basically uh, my main channel, which is on software, my second channel, which is on hardware. If you enjoy my videos, think about supporting over at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. There's a link in the description uh, of this video or on my website. You can also donate through PayPal if you can't support financially. Think about liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. I thank you for watching and enjoying this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.